of Matthew 16, then we'll be done. I gotta stop. Gotta stop. Verse 13. Are you there? Yeah. Haven't seen my brother sitting on the corner back there in a long time. How you doing? Last row, corner. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> I have a gift for faces. When you have 20 some thousand people, you gotta remember faces. <laughs> I'm too old to remember all the names. <laughs> Everybody's brother and sister now. <laughs> Thank God. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. So. I remember the name a day later. Amen. <laughs> Y'all young men like, keep living, bro. Yeah. <laughs> keep living. Keep living. <laughs> Being a meeting, don't remember the name, people's name till the next day. <laughs> but be, be, be grateful. If you don't remember, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> Might have a little alls this, a little demand that. But, but if you do remember, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> about how long it takes. <laughs> Verse 13, are you there? Yeah. Watch this now. When Jesus came into, into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked the disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, uh, some say, thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, others Jeremiah, or one of various prophets. Mm. Mm. So Jesus is talking to his disciples who've been following him. And he asked those who are following and who he has empowered and gifted and demonstrated in front of. Right. What do you hear about me? Who do men say that I the son of man am? Mm -hmm. hmm. The answer reveals some disturbing things to me. First it reveals who they've been talking to. Some. <laughs> Been in your Bible the whole time, you just didn't see it. First, 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 first he reveals that his disciples have been talking to people with some regularity that don't know who Jesus is. Second thing it reveals to me is that when he asked the question, nobody says, Jesus, that's a crazy question. We know who you are. Nobody corrects him, which means they didn't necessarily correct those they were talking to. Right. <laughs> Read your Bible. Because the Bible says they all doubted him in their hearts. Don't be too hard on them, because all of us have to. Watch this now. So then he, 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 he specializes in giving field tests. <laughs> he blows my mind with this thing. Because, yeah. you know, he, 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 he uses whatever is available yeah. to teach. Yeah. So he's walking down the street, sees a man with two sons. A man had two sons. One of them said, give me my stuff. Walking down the street, sees a man sowing seed in his field. A soul went out to sow. He, he just, he, get, he see, here's the wind blowing. The wind blows where it listens. Nobody knows where it comes from. He just uses everything. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So he gets around them, and doubt is in the air. Because things are getting critical. And he says, okay, fellas, you've been with me a while. Who do men say that I am? What's your opinion? of who I am. Then he says, well, who do you say mm -hmm. I am? What blew my mind? Only one guy answers the question. Yeah. To me, all 12 would have should have been saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the knife carrying, ear cutting, <laughs> cussing, <laughs> soon to betray, yeah. the regular guy, with a title. <laughs> he says, I got 
got this one, Jesus. I know I'm wrong a lot, but I got this one, brother. You the Christ. Son of the living God. He said, he, said, he, said, he said, boy, you didn't get that from nowhere in the street. You don't have an opinion, you have faith. Because he doesn't call him Jesus, he calls him the Christ. I believe what you said about later. So in this season, in this, in this, in this decade that's coming, Rock Church, Rock Church members, Christians watching us, wherever you're watching us from, you have to shift from opinion to faith. Got to shift from opinion about Jesus to faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Coming into a season when a fresh revelation of Jesus will be available. It's a season of declaration. Not saying your words, but speaking the word of God. The word spoken by Christ over others and over yourself. I told you, Jeremiah, put it like this. I will put my words in your mouth. Right. I put them there and I will make them hasten. I'm going to speed up the word coming out of your mouth. The manifestation will have shorter waiting periods in this season of faith that God is sending us to. So that means we'll have fresh authority because you understand keys are all about opening things that are much larger than the key. key. Keys are only given to your house when you trust the person with everything and everybody in the house. Oh. All of the disciples, contrary to popular belief, did not get keys that day. Only one had the revelation. What kind of authority is this? Oh, God. He says, I'm going to give you keys to the kingdom. I'm going to give you authority to open something, to put in your hand something, in your faith something, that when you use it, it'll work like it works for me. You missed a chance to shout. All right, watch this now. So my car was outside. I give my keys to that brother. My car's going to respond to him like it responds to me. Good. Because it's the keys that give him authority to operate everything that the automobile presents. Says when we move from opinion to faith, I'm going to give you some authority that will cause heaven to respond for you like it responds for me, Jesus is saying. Y'all don't know when to shout. If you're shifting from opinion to faith, God wants to put keys that will cause heaven to move at your command. You've got authority to shift heaven. Is this still making sense? So you get to exercise some authority. What does that look like? You get to bind and loose if you have keys. You get to shut some stuff up. Get to open some stuff up with your key. Because Jesus has given you the same keys God gave him. Oh. So there's a new season of manifestation among his people. New season of restoration. New season of resurrection. New season of revival. If you're going to fight, you might as well. Rock church, if you're going to fight, don't worry about the season of apparent vulnerability. If you're going to fight, you might as well. Touch your neighbor and say, we win. I declare this word over this house. This is a season, a decade of fulfilled vision. This is a season where God will only be limited by your imagination. This is a season where you're gonna have to speak, open your mouth, and watch the thing come to pass 
in a hurry. Y'all don't know where to shout. Vision, imagination, and an open mouth. Vision, imagination, and an open mouth. Vision, imagination. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the work of his power in you. I have placed my words in your mouth. I will hasten my word to come to pass. You speak it. Believe it. Come on. Watch this. And it's a decade of that. It's a decade. Y'all didn't hear what I said Decade. Ten years of recovery. Ten years of resurrection. So profound, you won't have time to remember the hard time. You hear what I said? So, so profound that the blessing will heal the wound. So profound that the ascent will make you forget the valley day. So profound yes. that you'll have to give God glory yes. when you remember the hard time. Yes. Stand on your feet. I need to pray for you. Thank you for watching Rock City Church Online. We pray this video sharpens and encourages you to be all that God has called you to be. You can give online at rockcitychurch.com or on the Rock City Church app. Like and share us on social media at Rock CC Baltimore. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode or live stream.